Hello world, it's BirdoPrey5, Kapla, and I just wanted to make a really quick video about my latest Star Trek Discovery fan theory, though I hesitate to call myself a fan. I kind of watch out of obligation more than interest. However, we'll call it a fan theory. We'll be nice today. It's early. So, earlier today, Daniel's Hot Topics and I were discussing on Discord, as we sometimes do, about Star Trek, and he brought up what he thought the end of Season 3 of Star Trek Discovery might bring us, and his thoughts were perhaps they'd go even farther into the future, or even further into the future. Excuse me. Either way, I kind of like that idea. It seems like something that came out of the movie Millennium, which is a very underrated movie, by the way, but I like the idea. It hasn't been done in a while, so if they want to do it, you know, more, more power to them. Regardless, we're left with a problem for Star Trek Discovery Season 3. If you've seen the most recent Comic-Con, New York Comic-Con trailer, we can see that Michelle Yao, the Philippa Georgiou character, is indeed in the future with Michael Burnham and the rest of the Star Trek Discovery crew. Now I theorize because, and I only say this because we've been being told over and over again, and even again since the Discovery Season 3 trailer dropped, that Michelle Yao is going to be doing a Section 31 show. And I think we all assume the Section 31 show would be taking place back in the original Discovery time, pre-TOS. But regardless when it takes place, to be a Section 31 show, I would assume it's got to take place in the past, uh, or, or at least the present from when, before Discovery left. Sometime between STD and, say, TNG, some, somewhere in that time, that's when you would expect to be a Section 31 show. I think most people agree a Section 31 show, 900 years in the future, is just not going to have any interest because we don't know what's going on at that time. So, to me, the issue is Michelle Yao and Philippa Georgiou has to find a way back from the future. And I may have already revealed the point of this video. So while wondering how they would resolve Georgiou getting back from the future, it hit me. Now, Star Trek Discovery has a long history of, shall we say, borrowing. Yeah, borrowing without asking permission. We're being nice today. Borrowing from various movies, TV shows, and even video games for some of their biggest, bestest plot points. The entire Star Trek Discovery series seems based on a point-and-click adventure game that was created by, and I'm sorry if I mess up your name, I believe it's Anas Abdeen. Nerdrotic does videos on this periodically about how the entire premise of the show seemed borrowed from this point-and-click adventure game where he made having the idea of giant blue tardigrades that moved instantaneously through space and time, and even the characters in that game bear a striking resemblance to the ca main characters, the main cast of STD, including somebody that looks a lot like Michael Burnham, looks a lot like Tilly, and the, the list goes on and on and on. So it's in its very DNA, in my opinion, that they borrow from other, other franchises and other IPs. Okay, Anti-Trekker found the Klingork design very, very similar to an alien from Galaxy Quest. And then Anti-Trekker did a whole video on how the STD Season 2 finale copied from no less than eight different franchises, including Star Wars, Battlestar Galactica, Iron Man, 2001 A Space Odyssey, and even Star Trek 
the motion picture itself. And that was just in a, a two-part episode finale. Eight different franchises, at least. Almost direct copies. So, I guess the question is, where is Season 3 of Star Trek Discovery going? It, you can just ask, well, where, what else do they have left to copy? And you can, you can get a pretty decent idea of where they might be going. So this isn't even a rumor, as nobody's told me this. I don't have any insider. This is just my, uh, quote, unquote, fan theory as to what might happen. In fact, I, I hesitate that this might be too good for STD. But still, what, where they might go in season three, and with the understanding that they have to bring Philippa Georgiou back from the future. From what we gathered from the trailer, they get to the future, the future sucks. The Federation is either dead or dying. There's problems. We see Andorians fighting people. We see Morn's people fighting people. When Morn's people take up arms, you know, you know the Federation, uh, it's, it's not doing good. So I suspect that season three will basically be a season where they have to figure out what went wrong. And they're going to be going around trying to fix the timeline, trying to, uh, you know, bring, resurrect the Federation. So I suspect at the end of the season, they're going to come across, perhaps even create, but let's say they, I think they're going to come across a, a data pad or such. That's basically an encyclopedia of the future. Their own Gray's Sports Almanac if you will, through various reasons, perhaps the very last time crystal in existence, or whatever, they can only send one person back to the past. So they elect to send Philippa Georgiou, the evil, evil empress of the mirror universe, because why not? They send her back with the pad, the pad will magically change as the past changes. And Philippa Georgiou's mission is to go back and recreate Section 31 because Ash Tyler looked like he was going to perhaps dismantle it or at least neuter it. So she is to go back and, and reaffirm, reestablish Section 31. And they're going to have a guidebook that will last them several centuries and it's going to be their Gray Sports Almanac. And so they will always know what's about to happen. And so that's how Section 31 gets to stay so covert for the next few hundred years. And it's how they're always on top of things. They're going to have a secret book that only she has access to that's going to tell them the future. And using that book, that will restore the Federation in the distant future, to, I don't know, Kumbaya land. It's devious, it's downright evil, and it's coming to you in Season 3 of Star Trek Discovery. One final thing before I run my usual ending credits. Please, if you've left me a comment before, especially on, like, say, the Star Trek Discovery Season 3 trailer video that I recently put out, and you see that your comment has been deleted, please understand I did not delete your comment. YouTube seems to be deleting comments randomly from people's videos. Other creators have seen this now. I would say it's all but confirmed. YouTube hasn't, has refused to answer the question. When asked, are they deleting comments? I don't know. My Star Trek Discovery video I put out at one point had several dozen comments. And then the next morning, I went to it and there were eight comments. I don't know what happened, but I promise you, I did not delete your comment. Now, don't take this as a challenge. But I, I don't think I've ever deleted a comment from YouTube. And people have said some pretty nasty things to me. I don't really care. As long as it's not an actionable threat, as long as it's not illegal, and as long as you're not insulting, 
uh, the family will pray. You can say whatever you want about me. I'm not going to delete your comment. I might respond, I might ignore it, but I don't delete comments. It's not me. So please, if you got your comment deleted and you got pissed because you thought I had thin skin, it was not me. It was YouTube. I can't prove it, but a lot of other YouTubers are finding out this out the hard way, that people complain to them that their comments get deleted. They assume that the YouTuber is behind it because that only makes sense. But it's not us. It's not us, people. I'm sorry. It's YouTube. So with that in mind, please, guys, do whatever you can to like, comment, and share this video. As I've said before, whatever you can do to share it would be extremely helpful. The favorite method is the accidental all-company email for those who work in corporate America. If you could accidentally send the link to this video to your entire company, like Microsoft or Google or wherever, you know, whatever Fortune 500 company you work for, uh, it would be really, really helpful to the channel and to me. So thank you guys, and what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully I'll read them before they get deleted. Kapla! Thank you all for watching my video. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. Without it, you won't get notifications of new videos. Check out BirdoPrey5.com, the new home of everything BirdoPrey5 on the web. You can also check out my forum at JUOT.net. I'm also on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and Gab. If you'd like to make a donation, check out PayPal.me slash BirdoPrey5 or on BirdoPrey5.com. Take care.